Assalamu alaikum I am Hani Qureshi and welcome back to my channel Today I am going to show you very easy tips and tricks for reheating food without microwave and oven What we are going to reheat today is pizza steam roast buns and much more so stay tuned and watch this video till end so yeah first of all i'm going to tell you how you can reheat pizza using only your non-stick pan on your regular stove first of all what you have to do is you have to add one tablespoon of water in the pan and we are going to spread it with the help of silicone brush and then we are going to add pizza in the pan i'm going to heat three pieces of pizza here right now the flame is on uh, medium heat you are going to uh, heat your pan on medium heat for about 10 seconds and then you are going to cover this pan for 20 to 30 seconds so yeah let's check our pizza is it done or not as you can see the cheese is melting and the bread is bread of pizza is getting soft and you have to check from the uh, from the bottom side of the pizza if it's burning or not because we are heating pizza directly on the pan on the flame you can put griddle underneath the pan if you are a beginner whenever we heat the food directly on the flame the flame is always on low heat well you can see how the pizza is looking right now freshly oven baked the cheese is soft the bread is soft super delicious you can also freeze the pizza and uh, you can defrost it and it will uh, take about 5 minutes to defrost and then 2 uh, more minutes to reheat enjoy your pizza with tea coffee whatever you want here we go with another delicious snack i'm going to reheat on the same pan and it always comes out very crispy crunchy unlike we used to heat in microwave oven so let's see how we reheat it first take a same pan and then uh, grease it using silicone brush with oil and then i'm going to put all these snacks in the pan and right now the flame is on medium heat and we are going to heat it for 2 minutes on lowest flame of the stove when we cover it the heat spreads evenly and you can shake it if you want so the these snacks don't get burned Yes, now wait for 30 seconds. And these are done. Now I'm going to dish out them and I'm going to take them with tea. Let me show you, show you the final look of these snacks. These are very crispy, crunchy. Believe me. 
so yes next time i'm going to show you how you can defrost different foods first uh, take some water in the saucepan and then add any of the food you are going to defrost i am using here chickpeas to defrost and i have added um one fourth cup of water and the flame is on lowest now i'm going to cover it and it will be defrosted just in 5 minutes so here is the final look now you can make anything you want using these chickpeas all right so get excited let's see what what i'm going to reheat now the process is same preheat your pan for 10 seconds and grease it with a brush or uh, using tissue paper and now i'm going to reheat these yummy donuts you can eat uh, donuts directly from the fridge but uh um, there are some people like me who want these things to be heated before eating them so i'm going to reheat them for uh, about 30 seconds and voila is it's done and ready to eat look at the chocolate the chocolate has been melted and the bread is soft now looking like oven fresh freshly baked oven you can see freshly baked from oven what's wrong with me right now you get it right here is the final look guys just look at it so yummy can't wait to eat it Here is another thing, guys, which can be a little bit challenging when uh, reheating it on the stove. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to uh, grease the pan again, of course, and you have to turn off the flame right here after uh, heating it for uh, 20 seconds. And I'm going to add one fourth cup of water. You can add more water if you want. You can always um, make it dry. on the full thing and uh, i have added here steam roast piece of steam roast you can say and i'm uh, brushing the simply water you can also uh, brush the chicken stock but you have to be careful that there is no salt in that because uh, you know that there is a salt in the roast already and there is salt in the chicken stock so it's going to be a disaster so I prefer use water to hydrate your meat. Meat always comes uh, out from the fridge dry, so we have to add some water while heating meat. And I'm going to cover it now so the heat spreads evenly throughout the roast. And again, I'm going to shake it so it's not going to stick on the pan so it will take about 2 uh, to 3 minutes and we are going to heat it for uh, on sorry low flame it's done now time to dish out and let me show you how soft it is i'm taking here chest piece and it is really soft and juicy So what's the better thing microwave or your stove to reheat food must tell me in the comment section
so here comes my friends buns burgers or anything i'm going to just heat them directly on the pan nothing is added uh, you can add some water one teaspoon of water and then spread it and then you are going to heat them this is totally optional you can directly put them in the pan or on the griddle and just heat them for 20 to 30 seconds and they are done if you want to heat the burger do the same process and cover it and turn off the flame now naan some people say it flat bread or something but we pakistani people call it naan i'm going to uh, wet it with water or you can say i'm going to brush some water on it to make it soft right now the flame is not on you can also give a dip that naan into the water and then you can use some oil and shallow fry it now i'm going to put some oil in the pan like so and i'm going to uh, cook one side for 20 seconds and after 20 seconds i'm going to flip it here the flame will be about uh, medium to low Now I'm going to flip it. It is done from one side. Some people uh, use this uh, technique to reheat naans and rotis. And this is my all time favorite. It is done, guys. This really, this technique really helps us to avoid food wastage, especially the, the leftover naans and rotis from the night before. We can use them in the breakfast. So, yes. What is coming next? You can think. You see, uh, the process of reheating is somewhat the same. We have to grease the pan first and uh, preheat it for uh, 10 seconds before adding any food item in it. Now I'm adding rice. Rice can be tricky when reheating in the pans. But uh, we are going to do here is add uh, adding some water about uh, half cup to one fourth cup depending upon how much rice you are going to heat now gently mix the rice and cover it for one minute and then again we are going to remove the cover and then again mix it and cover it for two more minutes and rice will be ready to serve In refrigerator food items become very dry so uh, things like rice, roast and pizza we have to add some water to make them soft and uh, juicy again. In total time uh, 
this thing will take about two to five minutes depending upon how much quantity you are going to reheat only defrosting can take time from 10 minutes to 20 minutes and everything what we are going to reheat or defrost that is going to be on the medium to lowest flame but I prefer if you are going to do it for the first time do it on the lowest flame of your burner so here are our rice nice hot and ready to eat so thank you so much for watching if you like this video then share it with your friends and comment your suggestions in the comment box and if you haven't yet subscribe to my channel and i will see you in my next video till then allah hafiz